So, hi everyone, we have just drew our symmetry pieces, so if you want to get your cheek points nice and good, draw your templates, if you want to refine this shape up, you can do that, but that's just what the general shape and the general piece is for. Just to draw around this shape, get a nice even symmetry around these masks, it's pretty hard to cut, so you'll probably have to cut the nose piece out separate, and then work your piece on the mouth. That's just a tip on how to cut it, if you want to make a daredevil, you can just cut and keep the nose piece in so you don't have to cut this all out you can just keep and continue around and in the line all around the face but what we're going to be doing here is fitting on our mask and this fits perfect i love how it looks it has the nice facial features gives me the nice even symmetry points here in the cheeks i have my nose it's not too sore it doesn't push in in and around here like some of my other masks did so this is the whole shape and what i was trying to accomplish in all those other masks was getting this nice hair curve the forehead and then around the eyes and the nose but if you just buy a simple carnival mask for two pounds ten pence if maybe that's three dollars in the us here in ireland that is two pounds these are perfect for facial fixtures for facial masks but the next step is a head mannequin so like i said at the start of the video this thing will help you build any mask general shapes overall eye masks these things are perfect the prices are in the uk here in ireland 10 to 15 pounds that's for a good quality one. For in the US, it may be 15 to 20 dollars. For again, a good quality one, you can get them, pick them up cheap, maybe for 10 dollars, maybe five to eight pounds here in the UK. All, all about quality and all about shape and size. So you do that, you go online and look up different sizes, discount stores, art shops. They will generally have a good selection. Right here, I've drew on where the mask will actually go. So if I get this face mask, and put it on the head mannequin you can just see these lines that will line up perfect so i'll just make the head mannequin that'll line up with those lines that i have drew once i know that where the head mannequin or where the base mask will sit then i can start to build in and around these sides so i want to keep the earpiece open like the daredevil so i draw around the earpiece match up these lines then i'll need a head or it's laying for the curve coming down the back of the head so this piece will just curve around like so so i have this piece and that's just going to match in like that you can just see that's going to curve around the side of the head once i place the mask so i've kept this on so that you can just see you know you get a better look at it guys uh if you want to change up the shape if you want to change up the eye differences the mask is on this piece right here that's going to Go inside there. This line represents where it's going to be glued into on the inside. That's just going to come around like that. Give a nice cover overall. Keep the ears free if you want to. That's completely up to you because I'm going to be gluing this to a lycra mask base. But this is how I make and generalize all my templates. So anything, any shapes that I need to represent, anything that I want to do working on the mannequin, you can just see the lines coming down here for the Daredevil. So that's the line I had to follow coming around here to make the Daredevil mask. Then right here I have the actual flesh mask. So yeah, guys, these things will come in so handy, but a Batman curl, a face eye mask, a flesh curl, anything that you want to do, a kid flesh. I've just drew on here these pieces, so you can just see one, two, this piece here in the forehead that we're going to be making. I'm actually going to show you how to make that. Number three is the head piece, so that's up here. The head curve, that's just going to come in here like that. You can see it matches up in the lens. That's just going to wrap around the forehead like that. All right, this piece is going to be glued on the inside here of the mask. Then we have our fourth piece here at the back. So this piece right here, that's just going to come around the heat around here. Connect up with this ear piece and wrap around the back like that. So it gives a maximum coverage overall. This piece again, I'm going to show you how to make. But that's how I generalize the whole head shape. All in all, that's what I've came down to all of these years and testing out the shapes. So if that helps guys, thank you so much for watching so far. We're going to get into cutting these shapes, wrapping them and actually gluing it down. I hope that actually helped you in any sort of way uh, to make all the masks because this is how I'm going to be making all of my face masks from now on with these carnival masks, with these sort of general shapes. If I want to cover up the ear, I'll just draw a line across here and cover up the ear. If I want to maybe make a better curve or more rigid, I will, you know, disconnect these pieces here. These general shapes will help me build a nice curve and a nice head shape all in all around any mask. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching so far. We'll get into the rest of this mask build. And I have been trying to be Ezra Miller so far, and I hope this helps.
So this is it guys, uh, you can see from the tips that I've given you just beforehand that there's no, you know, there's nothing to this, there's no like niche or technique to this, this is just simply by using the Lycra. So you can just see I have all the wrinkles in and around the mask, but I've made two fixture points. I've made sure I've got a nice fixture point here and then around the cheeks. So the whole face and the front of the face is stretched out, but around the back it's baggy. I can, you can just see all the wrinkles and all the excess fabric that we don't need, especially around here. So what you're gonna do is take your knee, put it around your knee, and we're gonna pull. So you can just see here when I put it, around this side, everything is nice if I just, you know, I, have, I don't have much cleaning to do. So right here, this is a good amount here to use. I can clean all this up. But if I turn around to this side, Okay, it just retracts, but if I stretch it out, you can see how much excess fabric that we don't need. So this cuts off around here, so all this excess fabric I don't need. So you can just see from those fixture points, I've got the face stretched out. Once I stretch it back like that, give it a nice tight pull, all the lycra fabric will just pull into itself, and you can just see it all blends well. It'll go into one piece. But this is the hard part, is getting the fixture points in and around there, and then you can just put the helmet around your knee or wherever. Get a nice pull on it and you can just pull the legroom nice and tight like that. Okay guys, so yeah, that's all there is to it. That's, that's about as most technique as I can give you because that's all I do with it. Uh, there is no real, you know, skill to it. That's all there is to it is getting the legroom, pulling it nice and tight like that and wrapping it around the points, making slight cuts like I do with all the other fabrics and all the other armor pieces. Just pulling it nice and tight, getting cuts, making cuts here and there to wrap it around so that it blends well to the shape. Okay guys, so that's it. Spent two minutes telling you that. And ho hopefully that helps. You can use this and make this for a lot of other pieces. You know, if you want to blend any different face masks or four masks. or This could be good for an iron fist. If you want to do an iron fist like this. Alright, so thanks for watching. And here we are with the rest of the video. So guys, this is it wrapped up. Now I've kept some on the inside to show you some of the overlap that we have, the excess. So you can just see here, this piece right here, this just shows you how much maybe you have to stretch it out. So this is some of the excess that you'll be cutting off on the inside. This will actually be all around in here in different and various areas. You know, just bunched up fabric, you cut this off, but this is to the extent even more, you know, three times the size of this. I had to stretch it in and take it in. But it's all flush now, everything looks nice. Once I spray paint it, uh, it'll darken down the tone, it'll blend all the lines a bit better. But now it looks like one piece, and then you can just see here in, in the nose and the cheek area, it looks so much better than when, when I would have you know, tried to build it. So on the inside also around the eyes, you can just see here, I've put some reinforcements, if you can't see, just I've put some pieces in and around the eye, not this one yet. But in and around here, I've put some pieces around the eye and around the other pieces. of I just use Paltax, you can use cardboard or thin card. I just put the pieces slightly around the eye and around the shape so that when I do put hot glue 
uh, and wrap the pieces and the fabric around in the eye. The plastic doesn't melt, I've done it so many times. The hot glue, if you're using hot glue obviously, the heat will heat up the plastic and it's thin plastic so it might melt it or it forms it and bends it in different shapes. I've messed up so many masks, you know, I'm a perfectionist sort of, so any tiny crease I try and get out. And yeah, so if you want to just use some normal Gorilla glue, some super glue, some normal PVA, you know, thick PVA glue to hold it in place and strength. But I'm using hot glue because that's what I find best. So I put some pieces in the background and all around the mask where I know it may bend or where plastic will be exposed. This is it all in all. The eye, it looks so nice. So that piece, just me explaining all that. Uh, this is it. I'll put the camera up slightly a bit more. This is so much handier than the other camera. But here I have the full head coverage, the forehead. And what I'm going to be doing is building into the spike. Here we're going to be having a thin piece. One piece of Peltex, again you can use EVA foam or cardboard, I like using Peltex. That's just going to be placed here so you can see this gap, that's going to be placed in there. So it's going to be like the first uh, Ezra Miller that I made or the first CW Flash. That's going to be like a little shutter so I'm going to build about another two of these or maybe just another one. So that's going to be one and then another one under layered underneath. So that's going to give like sort of a ventilation or a shutter effect going down the back of his helmet like he has if he's running or will be able to go through his mask and flow better. Uh, yeah, maybe an outlet for the speed force or steam or whatever. You can go for whatever design you want. Continue the spike on down here. That's what I'm going to be doing after uh, sort of afterwards. I'm just going to blend the spike coming down a bit more along the back of my head because I like that design. Yeah, guys, this is it so far. If you've lasted this long, thank you so much for watching. And sorry if I've kept you. There will probably be a part two. So, yeah, if you want to keep continuing with this, go and check out part two. If not, the video is going to keep on continuing. I've been John Hay with the Ezra Miller, and I'm about to go to bed. Night, guys. So, hi, everyone. You can see we have the mask. It's sort of finished the front base. So, I start to cut the first eye hole again, or the second one. But I've added in this back piece, the shutter part right here. And I'm not going to go with the shutter part, but what I have here is this piece. Now this was the Daredevil, like back part, so I drew this template a while ago. This just goes here at the back of my head, sorry. Right there, wraps around here and gives a sort of coverage around this section. This matches up perfectly in here like that. So if I just hold this to the camera, this line right here, this matches up in there. So I know firm rightly I just have to add on a tiny section right here when I'm drawing the new piece. I have a line also coming up here, right there. So once that connects at the top here, I actually know I can just draw that line to continue on up here for a spike. So I know what general says I'm going for, working off of other pieces and what kind of shapes I want. That's where it led me to this piece. Now it looks weird, it looks sort of, I have to figure out what way it's going. Here we go. So this corner right here is the shape that I was on about. So you can just see that fits in there like that. If I just turn this outwards, that just goes in here. That's going to wrap around here and you can just see already it's giving that sort of spike. So right here, this is actually going to be where I'm going to build the lane off. You can see in the middle, I drew a middle lane right here. So I'm not going to be using uh, any of this. I'm going to be using this and doubling it over. But from this tiny square right here and this tiny shape that I've drew out, I came to this piece. You can just see here it matches in like that. Goes on top. I've made the corner slightly curved because it'll fit in better to the actual piece. But that, you can just see the line is following up here, and that's just going to wrap around the back of my head. And that's how I just generalize all the pieces, guys. Hopefully that helped you, and here we are with the rest of the mask. So guys, this is the piece that I was on about. So from this one that I just shown you, uh, I've cut it off here in the middle like I shown the middle line. Then that just goes right there, here in the center. It's the same shape here in the side and here in the bottom. Well, sort of going down, but I've made the point a lot bigger. Okay, so then you can just see the metal line. I folded it in half, drew uh, the same side so you get symmetry. Unfold it, it becomes the same shape. So that's just going to fit in here like that. You can just see on that side right here that fits in there. That one's going to fit in there. The point is going to go snug along there like that so it goes streamlined. But the point is much too big. So you can just see if I hold it up here like that. The point is so much bigger here at the back of the head, so I'm going to shorten this in, you can make yours uh, bigger. I want it to go more straight as well, like out here, so it's just going to be slightly dipping down his head. I'll show you that here in the next part.
So, hi everyone, you can see right now I've just glued it to the actual mask to the Lycra base. So you can just see right here, we've done all our updates, everything to it. I've secured it in place, it's sort of even. So once I just place the back parts up, that'll go straight like that. Pardon me. Yeah, I have a lined it up at the front and at the nose. Both eyes are okay. As I said before, my head mannequin is slightly crooked, so very winded today. So uh, this is the head mannequin glued, or the base glued down on top of the head mannequin. You can see I have the lines drew around here, coming along the bottom and coming around again. So if you want to do that with, lately with a pen, pencil, a uh, bit of chalk, whatever, something may wipe off, but I'm just gonna either either cut it off here now to show you guys or take it off, but I am, I'm just gonna cut it, so let's do it. So, hi everyone, you can see we're back. Uh, I did the back piece, this sort of back uh, spike piece, so I've cut the mouth hole. I will try it on, don't worry, but this is just an update. Uh, the back spike part, so when I tried it on, it was too elongated, it came out to around here, and it was way up here, so the head was actually coming up this way, sort of, you know, it didn't look right. As I said before, I'm gonna have the ventilation, so that's just another layer here. I might add another piece just underneath this, I don't know, to make it look like a streamline, so it's shutter effect. But I've just cut this piece, so my back piece previously, uh, the back spike part, I've just thinned that up here in each side, so that it's gonna slide into my head, because I have left all of this open, because when we glued it on, like I say, uh, I have only glued on this part here, all the way around the face and around the sides here. All this inside at the top is open, sort of. This is open space, so that if we do need to plug in pieces, like we're doing right now, again, these are thin pieces, and they are just gonna go in the side like that. So that just pops in here, the side, and again, at the other side, that just goes in there like that. They both go into place, and if we just squeeze that in, you know, they'll both go into place, and there we have it. So once they're wrapped in place, that will sit very nicely in there. So it's just like a jigsaw piece. That's just gonna sit in there like that. I may hold it up here a bit more. I don't know, once I wrap a new piece and make it a bit more streamlined, like I'm gonna take out these pieces right here. I'm gonna make it more flush like a spike. So have a curved line. Yeah, that's it. Then I have the ear pieces right here. So you can just see I have that labeled R. You can't see that. That is going obviously on the right side, so that's around here. So you can just see the lining coming around the ear. That's going to plug in there like that fits in perfectly. So that's just, you know, mirroring the line. So once I actually put the lightning bolts also onto these ear pieces, those both will sit on at the same level. And then I'll just put those in and they will sit the exact same on each side. Okay, so we're just about to get into here. I'll try it on and show you what it looks like here around the chin and I'll have the ear pieces finished. Okay guys, and you'll see the back spike piece. Just wanted to plug that in there. Hopefully that helps like the other tips in this video. If this is extended too long, sorry. But yeah, all the tips and tricks to hopefully make your best flesh mask is here. Thanks guys, and here we are with the rest of the video.
So, hi everyone. You can just see here now we have the mask and I've went ahead a bit and made the ear pieces. But I've shown you these two overlapping pieces at the back, just overlaying on top of one another, like shutter, like pieces, sort of. Then we have the spig, that, that was just a random piece, you can just see that I cut off of another. It was sitting there, it was nice and symmetrical, I like the shape, so I just thought why not add it on here to the back. So I have to secure that. Uh, I went a bit ahead and did the ear pieces, so they're just one and two pieces uh, of Peltex. So you can use cardboard, EVA foam, and they're two layers, so just to make them a bit thicker, uh, I've used two layers of the Peltex, you can use two layers of cardboard. EVA foam comes pretty thick, so if you just want to just use one layer. And again, you can just see they go up here like that. You can do the lightning bolts, you can do your sort of going in a different angle. All up to you, that's sort of why I didn't do the ear pieces in detail, because they're very easy. They're just on a piece of black uh, Peltex again. Just a tiny ear piece to go on, so that they're not giant, you know, they don't come to around here. Because if you do look at the Ezra Millers, they are kind of big. So, uh, here we are with the mask. So I've just tried it on there. Uh, you can just see here at the back. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you can just see here at the back the shutter pieces. They just overlay on top of one another. Then we have the head spike coming around here. I, I like the way it shapes up. Uh, the glue on the inside right here, that's hardened on the outside a bit. Here it blends much nicer, it's a nice curve. Here it gets sort of a spike, so I'm going to try and melt that down slightly. But if I push it down into my head, you cannot see my eyebrows. I have full eye movement. Nothing's pressing in on my face. I have the ear pieces. They just, they literally go on to where my ear sits. You can just see that right here now. If I want to move these up and down, I can. I have full movement, so I'll just fix the chin right here and pull the neck piece down. So flatten that out, tuck it underneath. And there we are. I have full neck movement and mouth movement. I have that giant uh, open piece that Ezra Miller has in his Flash costume. I like it. You know, it, it, it gives something different to the character. It makes it makes it newer, obviously. So I'm going to be spray painting this. I don't know about, you know, putting the pieces on the forehead. So he has these thicker pieces coming up on the forehead. I have the nice chin points. Everything fits so nice. The, the open mouth piece was something I was really worried about, so that's why I went with the Lycra face mask, so that I had all of this open space right here. Yeah, the mask fits so nicely. Uh, the ear pieces were just glued on there, I think, five minutes ago. Again, you can go with whatever design that you want differently. I'm about to spray paint it so that these lines right here, they blend much better if I show you right now. So here is the Daredevil. And I've actually covered, so these side lines right here, I've covered with this uh the shiny linen so it's just thin pieces of black shiny linen i've actually covered some of the head parts just so that it would cover these lines but when i spray paint it you can see it will blend a lot better to it you can hardly see the line around the mask right here coming around the front that will blend much better the head pieces i only have a slight line right here and even then i can just go over it with some spray paint and blend it a lot better this will look a bit darker sort of like that tone if that's what i'm going for but yeah guys this is the mask so far i'm about to build into the neck piece and maybe be building chin pieces but all in all this fits really nice this is the end of the video i hope this has helped but this is the flesh mask and yeah you can use this for any kind of different curl that you want if you want to use this for you know a batman if you want to use it for a nightwing arkham city style if you want to use it for any kind of face mask that you want, the CW uh, flesh curve. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've used four-way stretch Lycra, Paltex, and a Carnival mask base to make this whole Ezra Miller DCEU flesh base. So we'll be in the next video with, I think, the neck piece. Um, we'll be designing up some of the back portion. This just comes off here like that. And I've been John Hay trying to be Ezra Miller, the DCEU flesh, and this is my Ezra Miller flesh mask. Okay, guys? Always have to geek speak for me, everyone here at Ireland. You're amazing, and always keep creating. Bye.